Okay, I get an awful lot of questions on how to sort and manipulate data using Excel, and so we're going to spend a little bit of time going over uh, two areas of functionality that Excel has. The first is filters, and then in an another video we're going to go over pivot tables. So I've got a spreadsheet that I've created, and in this uh, example we're going to uh, pretend we're in the insurance business, and we're going to uh, uh, be sales managers uh, wanting to do some analysis of sales information. So I'm going to pull up my uh, spreadsheet and I've got one here called uh, data spreadsheet and I'm going to pull up a, a pretty good size spreadsheet that may be similar to uh, something that you may get that's basically been downloaded in an Excel format from uh, a, some type of information system and so if I go down to the bottom we'll see that I've got 8,692 records uh, an awful lot to try to hunt through if I am trying to get to some specific information and what I'm mostly interested in for this example is looking at the uh, life insurance that my agents have sold uh, that is only life insurance and uh, particularly in the fourth quarter of the year um, and I'm really mostly interested in small cases and term insurance. So um, we're going to sort and filter this data at a couple different levels. You can see up in the top we've got uh, what I call a header row and I'm just going to bold that because it makes it a little bit easier uh, for me to work with. And the next thing I want to do is highlight my entire data set and I'm going to start in the upper left corner. I'm going to hold down my shift and control and use my arrows to highlight the entire data set and I'm going to come up here to the uh, taskbar and click filter. Now what Excel is going to do is place these little drop down uh, menu items on each field in each one of our columns. So the first thing I want to do is uh, filter out everything but life insurance and you can see if I look in this field uh, or this column I've got lots of different things in here and so uh, I want to get rid of everything that's not life insurance. Now here's how you use the filters. You click the drop down arrow and you have a listing of all of the the data in the column. And so this we have about uh, five different categories and some blanks. So I'm going to deselect everything but life and I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see that uh, I only have life insurance and I can uh, start right here and I can hold my control down drop down to the oops, excuse me control shift and drop down to the bottom and I can see that I went from uh, some 8692 cases to uh, 7448 cases when I have uh, filtered out everything but life insurance so I'm gonna go back up to the top and now I want to go and just look at the uh, business that was submitted in the fourth quarter. So I've got a couple of columns I can choose from. Column U here is the one that I'm interested in. i uh, use my drop down box and uh, deselect all of the fields and select only the fourth quarter. Again if I uh, use my control shift and arrow key down to the bottom of my data set you can see I've dropped from uh, what was originally 8692 down to 1784 records. Again we made a big difference. Now I want to uh, look particularly at the small cases that my agents are writing and uh, you can see I've got uh, agents uh, listed here and I'm only interested in life insurance where the base premium is five hundred dollars and less so I can do conditional filters using my filters tab so I'm gonna click my uh, drop down box and you can see every value that's in that field is represented here so trying to uh, pick fields is uh, probably not gonna be practical so I'm gonna go to this numbers filter um, option here and I'm gonna say choose one of these operators my mouse will cooperate with me and I'm gonna say less than or equal to and put my value here. Now I can uh, use uh, multiple uh, criteria for my uh, conditional filters and uh, I would just add different uh, operators here and I can pick and choose but uh, for these purposes I'm just going to select OK and now we went from uh, 
1,700 something records down to 592. So we're continuing to uh, filter down our information. And then the, uh, the last thing that I want to do is, is really only look at term insurance. And so I've got uh, a couple of columns here I can use. I, I want to choose this plan type and I'm going to uh, again we can see um, all of the the uh, data in this and I can since I don't have a whole lot here I could pick particular um, uh, I could pick particular names but uh, for the purposes of showing you the text filters I want to uh, select anything that contains the term term and um, I can put that in it's not case sensitive so I can hit OK and now I have further filtered down uh, only the plan types that contain term and if I highlight that that gives me 464 cases now the last thing that I want to do and they are probably already in order uh, but I want to uh, put this in order of agent now I can also sort in my uh, uh, filtering menu on A to Z, Z to A. Uh, I can sort by color if I have uh, something uh, if, I'm, if I'm using some sort of color there. So I've got lots of different options. So just to show you if I sort Z to A um, that'll give me um, all my agents sorted Z to A and uh, I can go A to Z which is where I want to leave it. And so um, now I'm just going to highlight everything. I'm going to double click on my column width and I can now scroll through very easily and see uh, the uh, analysis of each one of my agents and how much small business they wrote in the fourth quarter of the year. So that's a real quick overview of how to use the filtering with uh, some conditional filters and uh, some text filters.